Hello, everybody. It's Michelle, <clears throat> co-author of Methylation Madness, Insight into the Biochemical and Personal Lives of Hypermethylators. My, it has been a very, very long time. Um, a lot's happened in December, and I'll do a video on that. Um, just with my methylation, kind of got things all screwy Louie. I put some posts up, so you might uh, have seen that. But I will be making a... Uh, a video but right now I was just cooking I'm teaching a meditation workshop tonight at South Huntington Library and uh, my friend uh, friend partner Kristen is here and I needed to make some dinner so I decided that I had some veal um, which is new to my program ish I used to have it but then he took it off for a while but I decided that I was going to make, I was thinking that I was teaching, I was actually teaching today about India. And um, I kind of got in the mood to, to cook sort of an Indian dish. So what I did was I took veal chunks and uh, cumin, coriander, uh, cilantro, and... Uh, uh, what is it called? Cayenne pepper, black pepper, salt, and cardamom, just a tiny bit. And I spice that all up. And then, um, and some black pepper also. Oh, I have pepper in my nose. And then I threw in some tricolored baby carrots. And I have a can of uh, uh, chickpeas that I'm going to throw in. And it's sort of like a curry, because I have a bunch of curry in there. And it's coconut curry. I put uh, some coconut milk in. And I've been staying away from coconut lately because of my methylation issue. Going a little haywire, thanks to a uh, an orange. So I haven't needed the serine, because it just would have created some more trouble for me. But I am going to do that because I've been given the okay by the mad scientist, Dr. Doolin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to throw in some red lentil and sweet potato pasta. And I'm putting it all into my Instapot and I'll flip around. So that's what it looks like. There's a lot of coconut in there. It's an entire can. But what I am going to do is I am going to let me flip. I'm going to add a little bit of water, being that I'm I should have saved the saved the aquafaba from um, the cannellini bean, the cash cashews. Woo, I'm tired from the chickpeas. I should have saved that. That was silly. Oh well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some some water, just so I have enough because that pasta is going to suck that liquid um, away. So I just put in, I don't know, maybe I'll put in like three, there, it's a small can of, of bean, beans, so what is it, how many ounces is this bad boy? This is only ten and a half ounces. But I'm all that in because I will be putting that pasta in. Um, I might have to re-spice it, I maybe layer a spice in there once it's, um, once it's cooked, but it's all in my Instapot, so this whole thing should probably take about maybe 45 minutes, which will be pretty decent timing, considering Chris and I have to leave at, um, we have to leave at about six. We're doing our newest meditation, Believe, which is based off of Ted Lasso. Woohoo! Oh, and so much to say. We got approved 100% to lecture again at the um, American Naturopathic Medical Association. I look really shot because I'm so tired. I had a very busy weekend. Um, so that's really awesome stuff. I will do a total update on everything. As I said, I'm also two big fat steaks because I think uh, Chris and I could use some major protein. So um, these are uh, beef loin shell steaks and they should be delicious. I'm just gonna pan sear them. And then I'm gonna make a little broccolini because I had a huge salad today. It is my guest, so she gets whatever I cook. And um, that's really what is going on right now. 
But I will be making a video, like I said, with all sorts of updates and biochemical stuff and all that nonsense. It's been a little rough since December 19th. <laughs> um, but I am back. Back in the saddle again. Um, all right. Me and my very Mrs. Frizzle hair are uh, signing off. And um, yay, here we go. Rock and roll. Bye.